So guys, uh, right now we're actually gonna rehome uh, Dottie, our leopard gecko. Uh, she hasn't been rehomed in a really long time. Um, we're actually gonna give her a glass enclosure um, for the first time. And for the first time, she'll be able to get that day and night cycle. I just started handling her. I know it's like, what, you've had her for, but the thing is that Dottie came to us when she was like about this skinny and she was super, super fast. I even, fragile. fragile too, fragile as hell. Like, you know, imagine a little skinny body like this, super fragile, super terrified of you, ready to run everywhere. And I even almost lost her. That's a whole nother story. I'll definitely post that video and maybe make it a story time about how we lost her and found her. Yeah, anyway, but um, yeah, she was very small and it was really hard to grasp her. And finally now I feel like she's very, she's meaty, you know what I mean? she's thick, so it's easier to grab her. Right now, Chris is just filling up the substrate. I'm gonna show you guys. This right here is called rep microchip rather, not rep chip. Uh, we got this off of Amazon. I will put the, put the link in the description as to where you guys can get them. It was Amazon, right? Or yeah. was it? Uh, I, I mean, if it's not on Amazon, this is, this is a pretty common brand, so you can right. just Google it and find it. Uh, uh, we have, two bowls here most likely one is for water obviously and over here we got a humid hide uh for geckos it's ideal to have a humid hide because they do shed as well and cover that up so that way the light and anything doesn't get to it exactly keep it nice and nice and muggy in that area this yeah. right here uh that we put in the humid hide is called smagnum moss this right here is so good for uh moisture this is what they use for moisture and humidity. If you ever need your animal to shed, let's say if you have a snake that needs help with shedding or- um, A gecko or a beard. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what he said. Um, these, this is a good option to use. Um, they usually recommend it and it's good for a reptile. But yeah, we're setting up uh, her enclosure now. And so far looking pretty cool. All right, guys. Look at how cool this thing looks now. You set up the daylight daylight, and then we got the night light right there. Literally fire. So as you can see, it's looking like a really cool setup. Um, I'm super excited to see her in here. Yeah. We'll be able to see her, see her more often, you know, keep you guys posted with her. So she's more involved with the channel. Is it right. time? Hell yeah. It's time, it's time. She's sleepy, but. It's time, it's time. Yes. There she is. You want to hold this? I'm going to put her in. Oh my gosh. See how she acts, guys? And then once she's up, she calms down. Shake, shake, I shake it. <laughs> Started waving like crazy. It's like she acts like she wants to fight. I know. Now she's going to find the nice human side. And she's not going to care anymore. Put her lights on so maybe she wow, can see. Wow, look guys. You see in her climb. See, these are things we couldn't really see even when she while she was in the tub. And look at her colors. Look way better with these lights. Turn off that red, you really see her color. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Let me zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful girl. Oh yeah, look at her guys. Get to really see her. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful girl. I love her eyes. She has like gray eyes. But um, yeah, that's it for Dottie. Um, today, we're getting two other geckos. Dottie's out of the way. Now we got two more to go. Stay tuned for those. Those are, those are two new ones that we are getting from my cousin. I'm excited for that. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, oh, we, we are home. And we got the new Ridiculous. um there's one guy out right now looking very similar to Dottie I didn't even know he was that similar to Dottie literally looks just like Dottie and there's I think there's one in the log here but uh I, I can't get him yet maybe we'll get him when he's inside What's up everybody welcome to another km family video 
this is an unofficial video literally just happened out of nowhere okay, but anyway uh tonight what we're gonna be doing is moving uh chong chong is our painted baby turtle uh we have a readier slider as well one thing that we realized with uh chong we just looked at, at the tank one day and chris was telling me because he peeped him uh before me actually he peeped that Chong's eye looked a little swollen. They do say that this is a normal thing. So at first, obviously, you know, we panicked a little bit, but we read about it and then we got all the right stuff. Like for instance, I keep walking back and forth, but uh, we bought this right here, uh, Turtle Fix. Uh, I just applied it because we just received it um, to the tank. But because, you know, uh, we're not 100% sure what, um, the issue is with the eye so we want to separate them you know what i mean we want to make sure that it's not the other uh turtle that's bullying him and if that is happening we want to stop it from happening so what i'm gonna do is set up another temporary setup for uh chong um like i said this this is temporary they're both in temporary tanks they're gonna have huge tanks uh very soon uh once we clean up you know the other side of the garage but this is where he's gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, this is the tank, 10 gallon tank. So I'm gonna put Chong right in there. I found a smaller tank, so I'm gonna put this in there. This will be his little basking area. But uh, right now, what I'm gonna do is basically get gallons of water. And always, always what you want when dealing with reptiles, you guys should know this. I should not have to repeat this. You need, oh my God. Right here, perfect. You need RepTi-Safe. You gotta make sure that the water is is um, conditioned for them. Adding this to the water makes it okay to, to swim in it, makes it okay for them to drink it. So you wanna have this at all times when you have reptiles. All right, guys. So picked out some rocks and I cleaned them out from the pond that we have out there. And I just arranged them in the way uh, that they can be stacked up on each other and so that that the baby turtle can just climb up right there and just bask i think it's about that time i checked the temperature on the heat gun in here and it looks like it's about the same as over there in terms of basking we will uh establish that tomorrow um i'm saying like the light uh so he'll be fine for tonight I'm gonna grab him and we're gonna place him in his new place. I also added turtle fix to the other one just in case you guys are wondering because he is the one with the eye that's a little messed up. The other guy is right there in the bubbles. But let's grab this guy. All right, I got him. And let's place them over here. Hold on. Let me go up. Give you guys a better view. Place them right over here. And there he is. Uh, Amber, like I said, guys, he was the sick one. I'm keeping an eye on him. Um, hopefully he learns to... Well, he's swimming now around. He's swimming around, so... Maybe he's just figuring out the the tank, you know what I mean? Figuring out where he is, because I did just move him out of nowhere. Um, I wanted to move him earlier, but things got in the way. But uh, yeah, right now I just see him moving slowly around the tank. So maybe he's just, you know, trying to see around him and see what's going on. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate all that, the whole nine. Uh, thanks for sticking with us, guys. Uh, we appreciate everybody who's joining us, everybody who's new, and everybody who has been with us. But anyway, um, most likely I'll be seeing you guys next week, or I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Thank you, and see you later.